So you want to play modded Arma 3 with your friends or share controls, loadouts, and add-on options. Then watch closely to avoid problems, wasting time, and tearing your hair out. You might be here because you want your friends to play Arma 3 with you. So you host the server, get your friends to join. Watch my video on playing with your friends if your friends cannot see your server in the server list. Link in the video description below. And they immediately run into problems, such as unmatched controls, unexplainable glitches, mods not appearing the same way they do for you. These problems persist despite your friends downloading all of your mods. Let's start with the mod list. For this demonstration, Knighton will be our game host, and Cam will be a player joining Knighton's server. So, if you will be hosting, pretend you are Knighton, and if you will be playing on your friend's server, then pretend you are Cam. After Knighton has a mod list preset where he wants it, he opens the Arma 3 launcher, loads only the mods he wants to use, and saves the loaded mods in a preset. Give the preset a name and save. Then he goes back to the preset list, shares the preset, and saves the file. Remember where you save the file because you need to upload this file. Now he uploads the preset file somewhere his friends can access the files, whether it be Discord, Google Drive, or another cloud storage. Now Cam is in the driver's seat. Cam downloads the preset file. Watch out, your PC might open the file in your web browser because the preset file is an HTML web page that shows a list of the mods on the preset. Next, she opens the Arma 3 launcher and goes to Mods, Preset List, Import. Then she selects the preset file that she just downloaded, subscribes to all the new mods she's not currently subscribed to. She waits patiently as the new mods download confirms the mods have downloaded by seeing that the green bar is no longer downloading anything new. Selects the mod preset she just imported by going to the preset list and selecting the preset file. Cam sees that all of the mods are now loaded, including the total amount of loaded mods is the same as Knighton. Voila! Now Knighton hosts the server and Cam can join. But Knighton notices a problem. Cam can't jump, using one of the movement mods featured in his recent infantry movement mod videos. And some of the other controls don't work too. Knighton realizes that he customized his controls and that Cam should use the same controls as him. He proceeds to open his controls and reads out each key bind one by one to Cam for Cam to copy. Three hours late. Of course he didn't do that. He has a much faster way to do it. Knighton closes the server, leaving Cam in the dust. He finds his Arma 3 profile from the Arma 3 or Arma 3 other profiles folder in his documents, then uploads the Arma 3 profile to the internet, just like in the preset earlier. Cam creates a backup of her Arma 3 profile like so. Next, she downloads Knighton's Arma 3 profile file saves it to her Arma 3 or Arma 3 other profiles folder and renames the file to match her in-game profile name. Enters the server and lo and behold, she can now jump. How wonderful. If Cam only wanted to copy controls and not difficulty video and audio settings, she could have copied the lines between key swim up and key user 20 plus every other line that begins with key or K-E-Y on the Arma 3 profile file. Ha! Huh. Cam ran into another problem. She is missing all of the loadouts Knighton created for her and the Arma 3 community. If you want to populate this barren wasteland of a loadout list, look for the link in the video description. So Cam asked Knighton, could you upload your VARS profile for me? Knighton then finds his VARS profile in the same Arma 3 or Arma 3 other profiles folder and uploads it. Cam backs up her VARS profile, then downloads Knighton's VARS profile, renaming it to take the place of her original VARS profile. If she only wanted to copy the add-on options from Knighton, Knighton would have had to open Arma 3, go to Options, Add-on Options, Export, copy the clipboard, paste it into a text file, and uploaded the text file. 
then Cam would have had to open the copied text from the text file, opened Arma 3, go to Options, Add-on Options, Import, pasted the text, and clicked OK. And if Cam only wanted to copy the loadouts, then Knighton would have opened the arsenal, picked a loadout, clicked Export, and pasted it into a text file to send to Cam. Cam would have taken the text, copied it, and opened the arsenal, clicked Import, Save, chosen a name, and save. There are two mods to help with this as well. Because who we're we kidding, we, we like mods. One of them is the Ace Arsenal, and the other is Loadout Transfer 2. Again, links in the description below. And just like that, Knighton and Cam began their wonderful relationship playing on a modded server without mismatch controls and settings. After many, many hours of good times and great memories, Knighton and Cam grew to be close friends, and one day, Knighton thought to himself, I want to marry Cam. So he proposed. She said yes, and together they had the baby? Oh, was that Hit Rapper? An artist? The baby? <laughs> <laughs>